Howdy, Beeflo Bart here, and welcome. So, your first visit to the new map. Amandra. Some things you need to know before you go. I hate videos that say, you must do this, but promise me whenever I tell you that you're going to really appreciate the strategy that I'm going to have you do on this particular guide here. Okay? So you're going to start from Lake Coved, and you're going to do a certain series of things that are going to be advantageous for you to make your first visit to Amandra much better. Okay? So, the first thing you need to do before you leave from Lake Coved is your truck choice is going to be very important. You can use a Voron Grad. Very good choice for this. If you want to use mod trucks, great. But you can do this with regular vanilla trucks. Okay. Um, you can do this of many different ways, but if you follow along with this strategy, you're going to be okay. I'm going to use the Voron Grad as my example, but there's a lot of other great choices, like the, uh, believe it or not, the GMC MH9500 is a really good choice for this. Um, if you want a truck that has a loading crane and the ability to have a sideboard bed and still be able to pull a trailer, this is a great option. However, it can be a little bit top-heavy and more prone to roll over. But the Voron D53233 is another great choice as well. Um, Tega, great choice. Ooh, why can't I just take uh, a 420 and no, just kind of follow along with this and you'll be okay. All right. So my choice is naturally going to be the Voron Grad. It's one of my top trucks that I enjoy using quite a bit. And the items you're going to need are lift kit, chain tires are a must, sideboard bed is a must trust me on this use a sideboard bed on here and you're gonna go to the garage you leave the garage and I'll show you on the map here you're gonna go to the port and at the port you're gonna have a trailer store you're going to pick up a sideboard bed trailer the little two slot one trust me it's the best option here once you come out of the garage, loop back around, go in here, pull over to here, grab your sideboard bed trailer. And now you have a, a really good truck with chain tires and a sideboard bed and a sideboard bed trailer. Loop back around here and pick up two metal beams, one for your truck, one for your trailer. Your path you're going to take that will be the easiest for you overall is you follow this road around and as you follow this road around to right here you can actually come out here and go on to the ice now a lot of people will actually take this route right here but when you're carrying a trailer it can be a little bit risky so if you follow this route around you'll be a little bit better off you come across the ice and you can get back onto the road being mindful for all the rocks you're going to cause damage to your vehicle go slow take your time you use less fuel fuel management is going to be a very 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 important thing as you come around here you're going to follow around the cracked ice here and this little narrow spot right here is your best option for crossing so that you don't break through the ice over here and you don't fall into the water there once you get to this point, you come all the way up here, past the road, and you follow this side around, staying close to the rocks on the snow area. You follow this around, and this route is actually the fastest route. I made my mistakes on my first time going to Amandra, and let's just say that I spent an hour to an hour and a half just getting trucks over there before realizing that there's actually a garage. Take your time, stay to the left here, and you won't fall through. This is bad ice, you will fall through, so try to stay on the snow as much as you can. When you get to this rock right here, it's tempting to just drive across, but 
up to you. I actually prefer going really tight to the rock so you don't fall through the snow and ice over here. You can actually go through here, stay through this section here, just keep to the left, into the snow, close to the trees, and come all the way around. This is bad ice you will fall through, so keep to the left and you'll be fine. Slow down, take your time. You get through this section right here, come through here, staying in the snow as much as you can, cut through the trees and you'll you'll be fine. You're going to go up this road right here. When you get to the top of it, be careful, there is a hole here and off camera section. So just take your time, come up through here, and instead of staying on this road, turn right here. Go across and across here. Follow this little bit of road through here. This is a rough section, so be careful, take your time, and then come up to the road, go to the right. This section right here, you'll be glad you have chain tires on. Come around, and you're going to go through the tunnel right here. Okay? So that's your strategy to get from Lake Cove to Amandra. You have a really good truck with chain tires, lift kit, sideboard bed and a sideboard bed trailer and you're carrying two metal beams. When you get to Amandra you're going to come in right here. Okay. Proceed to this point right here. You're going to have deep snow and you're going to get stuck. There are winch points to get you across so just take your time and winch through here. Follow this road around to get to this point right here. Make this left into the road, then cut across here. There'll be a gap in the rocks. You're going to head towards the trees and then cut back to your left and come out to here. Stay to the left. This ice is okay. This ice, not okay. So just stay to the left. You can go through the middle of the ice in this section right here. You're going to come around, and when you get to this point, you'll have a little narrow gap through here. You can go through these trees and some deep snow. There are a few winch points. You're going to be okay. You get to this point here. Refuel. Definitely refuel. Okay? This trailer will be on the map. You come over to right here. You're going to find the Tuz 108 Warthog, the new truck for this map. Go ahead and come back around. And you're going to go through the fences over here, through these little trees. Come up, stay to the left. Do not go onto the road in this section right here. There's just too many rocks. Rocks equal chance to roll over. So stay in the snow. Follow it around till you get around to this pole. And then you can get back onto the road. Follow this road all the way around. You're going to go ahead and go through the small water crossing here. You come to this point. This bridge is out. There is no mission to complete this bridge. So you're going to make a right, come down here, come back to the left. This is your first holy cow moment. This bridge out is going to cause you some problems if you don't take your time. There are concrete slabs that goes across here and goes across here. They are not permanently affixed. They will move. They will bounce a little bit. And if you don't take your time, you're going to fall off and you're going to have a bad day. Take your time. You can make it across. I've gone across here on that section with the twin steer. So it's very doable. Just take your time and ease across. Stay on the ice. Follow it around to here. Cut through here to this rock. Stay tight to the rock as you go around here and then come back up. The reason for this is yes, you can come up here, come around, but these rocks are going to give you an off camber and you're going to potentially lose your cargo. So if you come through right here, it's going to be a little bit easier, still a little bit challenging. Everything on this map is challenging. This is not an easy map to work with. But at least with this strategy, you're going to be able to get going and get started in a positive way. So once you get back onto the road, 
come to right here there's going to be a telephone pole in the road slow down and ease over it as far to the right as you can and no big deal this is also where you're going to be appreciative of your chain tires because you're going to be going up a hill and without chain tires you're not going to make it up this hill unless you're planning on doing a whole lot of winching so just use the chain tires like I said you follow this road around you get to right here it's not so bad there's a few rocks in the road so just take your time large mud puddle right here where I've got this trailer I was actually using that as a bridge so kind of ignore that but as you come across here you're gonna have a good telephone pole to winch through you're gonna have to winch this is gonna be covered in ice and it will break and you will fall through you get to this point right here this is very 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 important disconnect your trailer drive your truck into here there's going to be a mission that mission is going to tell you that you need to deliver two metal beams which is why we brought the metal beams from the port on Lake Cove. Once you have um, accepted and started this mission, come back out, come over to here, buy a fuel trailer, get fuel, come back, get your trailer, and then proceed on. When you get to this point right here, you're going to have a mud pit. And then at the end of this mud pit, you're going to have some ugly rocks you got to climb up. Kind of unavoidable. You're just going to have to do it. There is a winch point like right here and like right in here. You can make this through, but once you get across there, go slow, take your time, and you won't lose your cargo. And then once you're up here, there's a bunch of big rocks right here, which can also be a problem. So just take your time. You can get across it. All right. Now you've made it through this horrible, horrible section right here. Then you're going to have a tree in the road that you cannot remove. If you say, well, I can just go right here. Mm, okay. You have an off-camber section. You could potentially lose your cargo. You're going to have a bad day. This section right here is really, really deep mud. It's going to be a winch -a to get back up to the road. My strategy is to come over here put the right side tires of your vehicle onto this rock with your left side still being on the road and then you can ease through here nice and slow being mindful of your trailer and you can get across take your time be smart about it and you'll get through all right so you're gonna come right around here come up you're gonna go through this little small village gonna get to this section go ahead and stop Disconnect your trailer, pull in here. There is going to be a fuel trailer. Refuel. Fuel management is a very, very important thing on this map. Unless you're using a mod truck, you're always going to be thinking about fuel on this map. So once you refuel, come back out, reconnect your trailer, and continue on. Get to the section. Not too bad. There's a couple little off camber dips. Just take your time. You'll be fine. Roll through here follow around as you get up to the top of this hill make this right go off into the swamp this area sucks almost every truck has to winch through there's tons of winch points you'll make it that's why you had to refuel is because you're gonna burn a lot of fuel going through the swamp you get to this section you're not gonna stay on this road trust me there's rocks across the road right here and you won't be able to get through so if you come over here and make this right come over to here there's a narrow gap between these rocks. Cut through there. Again, go slow, take your time. You get onto this lake here. A lot of this ice is bad. You will fall through and you will sink and you're done. So just stay to the left, stay tight to the rocks and follow it all the way around. You get to here again, stay to the left, follow it all the way around and then you're gonna shoot for going between these two trailers you'll see them whenever you get here but you'll go through there come across climb up the hill to get to this road about right here very easy just take your time I'm gonna say that quite a bit take your time take your time take your time when you get to this point right here this is a turn in location for your mission that you have for turning in the two metal beams 
as soon as you turn in that mission, a new mission will pop up right here on the ground. So go ahead and pull your, your trailer over here, disconnect your trailer, there is a fuel trailer here, refuel. Then accept this new mission, which is going to tell you that you need to go and get two wooden planks and deliver them to two poles on the map. Not a problem. You've already refueled, so come back around here again, cut through here, come back out onto the ice, staying on this far side, follow it all the way around on the side, just like you did when you came in. Come back up through here, come back around, go through the swamp, come back out onto this road, and you get to this point right here, make a right on this intersection, come down here. Now you can make it through here if you take your time, or you can make it through here also if you, you, you take your time. I have actually gone this way as well, and again, just take your time and you should be okay. Rolling over is not something you want to do, or it's game over. At least for a little while. Um, stay tight through here. Stay on the snow as much as you can and tight to the rocks. When you get here, stay tight to the ugly plank stuff and drive on them a little bit as you need to because this is bad ice. You will fall through and have a bad day. <laughs> okay, So follow this all the way around to here and then get onto the snow. Come across here. Come up here. There is a bridge here, but it's out and there is no mission to fix it. Climb up to here, follow this road around, all the way around here, and then cut back here. This is where you pick up your wooden planks. It's just an outhouse behind this guy's house. Get two wooden planks in your sideboard bed, cut back here, head back over, do the same thing you did here, come down through here, taking your time, staying on the snow, staying on the plates, come back around, and choose your path wisely to get back up to this road. When you get to here, go to the left and then hard right here. There's a bunch of rocks in this road right here and it's a high chance you could roll over. Um, this is a smoother road and just has a tight turn. Come back around to here, come in here, refuel. You will need it. Refuel. I'm going to say this again. Refuel. I ran out of fuel because I didn't refuel here. So refuel here. <laughs> okay. Come back up here. This way sucks. It's the fastest and easiest route, believe it or not. Um, take your time, take your time, take your time. There's going to be a bunch of rocks that are going to try to kill you. Take your time. Again, rocks that are going to try to kill you. Take your time. You'll be fine. Up here, it's deceiving. Um, you can do this. I have done this in numerous different vehicles. There is a crevice right down the middle. So, either stay far right, staying far left looks like it could be the easier way to go. It really isn't. Um, you can straddle the crack, and I've done that. Uh, ride far to the right, I've done that. I've fallen in the crack and still made it. So I've done this multiple times, so this is just the easiest strategy for me. Just, again, and I, I know you're going to get tired of me saying this, but take your time. You finally get through there, you suffer through these rocks right here. You're going to find a Yar 87, which is for another mission later on. Just ignore it for now. Follow this around. You get to this point here. This is your first turn in location for the wooden planks. What I generally do is come over to here, climb up this rock, taking your time, taking your time, taking your time, and then coming up here, delivering it, and then easing your way back down to the road again, and then follow the trail around come all the way down to here and then you're gonna have to cross the river not a problem because you got a good truck that has a snorkel on it too right this is a frozen river coming down a steep hill you got chain tires it won't be a problem once you make it up here come over to here and when you turn in your second wooden plank if you pay close attention over here on the right hand side it's gonna say garage unlocked Mwah, beautiful so just turn around, come back down here, come back the way that you came, 
go up this hill here. Trust me, you don't want to go this way. Um, come back up the hill, and two choices. You can go the way that you came, or you can turn here. There's a lot of rocks. Have I mentioned, take your time. Um, weave your way through the rocks, following this trail around. When you get to about right here, it starts getting easier. You get into a little bit of mud here, but no biggie. Come back around, you pull into here, and as soon as you pull in to the, the yellow box, you'll see it say, Garage Discovered. At that point, you have your garage now, because you don't start with this garage, but now you will have your garage on this map unlocked, and you will have a much better chance of getting things done. Otherwise, you're going to be shuttling a lot of trucks in here, and you're going to waste a lot of time. Doing this is probably going to take you a good 45 minutes to an hour for your first visit to the map. Trust me when I say this is your best option that you can do to get you set up for actually completing things on this map. Because there are some major challenges that you're going to have to overcome. This map will fight you every step of the way. This is the most challenging map of the entire game. And if you don't have a season pass, go ahead and get it. <laughs> I promise you, it's worth it. Because if you've got a season pass, by the time you make it to here, you get three new trucks in this season pass for the first season. Two from the first map, one from this map. Um, there's some upgrades that you can only find on these two maps. That alone makes it worthwhile having the season pass. Um, from Lake Cove, you have the radar trailer. Also, a nice cool item. So, I hope the strategy helps you. And if you follow this basic strategy, you may have to watch this video a couple times. Key things to remember, fuel management and take your time. There's a lot of things that are going to try to make you roll over and cause you to have a bad day. So just slow down, take your time, and ease through the problems one at a time and you'll get through it. Alright guys and gals, y'all take care and thanks for watching.